In this video, we are going to see how to create a background job in SAP. I am going to take a very simple program and then we go I am going to show you how step by step screen and what are the options we have in that. Transaction code to schedule a background job is SM36. This is initial screen, define background job. I can define it here. Yes. But before that going, to, I need to first know what I have to schedule and what are the, what are the data I need to feed. So I'm going to take VA0, VA05 which is a list of sales order report. So I want a open sales order report. Should it, gen it generate every day instead of me going into this transaction it should send me uh, send all the open list to my inbox every day I can schedule that way so for that let us go this is VA05 screen okay here I am giving my order type inputs I can I can filter it based on all the selection screen parameters here so I'm going with simple things, uh, order type or and then sales org as my sales org rr 10 and then I want only open sales orders. So this way I'm what I'm going to do is I'm creating it as a one variant here. Zval some description and then save it so i have saved my variant okay now i need let us keep the screen aside and then let's jump into this background job screen you see here right define job using job wizard click on that and then continue here i am going to give some z sales or Z05 open for me to understand if to track it whether the report background job executed successfully or not what is the status so for that I need to give this job name continue and then select this option a back program setup then continue I'm I have to give this program. You remember I have opened in other screen. What is the program name for the SAP? VA05 report. This is the program name. Copy this. And then variant. Because every time we cannot go in the ma manually enter the input screen, right? So we save that as a variant. And then this variant will do our work. or you can open this Z star sorry I think sorry program no I haven't copied program success Okay, then remember Z where we have created Z where also you spool request right send message mail so here I am going to mention my user user ID here to trigger me internally to my inbox two five double three two zero my user ID and then click on copy or spool request if you click on this it will give you other options distribution list also i can maintain where i can club all the user ids in a single distribution list and then maintain here external addresses where your official office official mail ids you can maintain organizational units everything you can maintain here so currently i'm going with internal user
I'm going with internal SAP user ID. So copy and then continue. So this is again, if you go here, if this is a multi step jobs, because if, if this is a program where it has a dependency, once that is executed and then that where you have to schedule multiple triggering uh, jobs, this way you can go and then arrange it, mention this program again. So currently I'm executing a simple job. Click on continue. Yes, I need to trigger it immediately for demo. Demo purpose, I am scheduling it for triggering it immediately. So you can schedule it based on date and time, everything. Yeah. Click on continue. Yes, periodic job. If you want to schedule daily or hourly basis, weekly, monthly, you can select this period. And then if you want to skip this background job scheduling for on Sundays and holidays, you can select this. Continue. Yes, I want this to execute daily. Or I can just skip none of this. Other periods I can say like, I can men mention month, really monthly, time specific or like every alternative day. This way I can mention these options. So currently, I go with daily, continue, complete. Let us go to one more transaction where we can see whether the job is executed successfully or not. Go to SM37 and then star everything. Just execute it. You see here jobs is finished. And then this is the spool list. Double click on the spool list and then click on this. This is the data I got it from the report. Let us go back to the uh, my inbox. This is my inbox. Inbox you can see here 100 documents. Yes, it triggered. Double click on this. Yeah, we get the same data. So this way we can schedule a background job. Thanks. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Thanks for